Thank you so much for watching WPGC TV. Aladdin Prince of the Airways here with you. And I'm here with the OMG girls, and it looks like we found out they have a new member. Ladies, will you introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Star. I'm Baby Doll. I'm Beauty. And I'm Sunny. And we are <laughs> the OMG girls. <laughs> yes, Look, Sunny is ready. Okay. So we know Sunny's not really part of the OMG girls. But uh, hey, get back over here. Get back over here. Come on, come on, come on. All right. So what does OMG stand for, ladies? OMG stands for officially misspelled with M I S S guided, which means ladies who are guided. So we let all the females know they're beautiful and intelligent, and they can go out there and do anything they want to. And independence is very key. So you have to depend on no man to get your things. Okay, mm. that's what we're saying at Gucci. This you like the nice things, but get them on yourself. Don't depend on no football player, no basketball player. Mm -hmm. You got it, girl. You know, what I really love about you guys, I heard that you guys said uh, recently that, you know, even though your song is Gucci this, Gucci that, some of you guys like Forever 21, H&M. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what we love. We can hit the clearance rack at TJ Maxx right. down the street. Oh, my gosh. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, like Marshalls, Ross, don't play with me. Let's let's go. Ross, Ross. They about to go on a shopping spree. So how old are you ladies? I'm 16. I'm 17. <laughs> I'm 15. Wow. I'm so baby. I, you the baby? Yes. Oh, how you like being a baby in the group? It's fun. I'm bad. You're bad. Okay. <laughs> now speaking of bad, like who is the baddest of the group? Like who's the jokester? And like I know it's different personalities. Okay. <laughs> now I was actually like a jokester too. Like what type? What type of tricks do you play? Well, I don't necessarily play tricks on them. I mean. When I, when, yeah, I just mess with my mom a lot. I just mess with my mom and our role manager. <laughs> it's one of the tricks you played on. Well, her, her best friend had came in town for her birthday, mm -hmm. and I went like uh, early in the day, and I bought like a whole bunch of silly string because I knew her friend was coming. So we like knocked on the door, and I asked her like, cause she wrapped my hair, and then we like uh, sprayed the whole room with silly string. We trashed it, and then she was trying to make us clean it up, but then we ran out. How do you girls like being on tour? Um, we love being on tour. It's probably one of our favorite things to like do, being in this group, because we love meeting our fans. We just like going to different cities and getting to see them and going to the schools and just seeing like the impact that we have on other girls. And doing radio drops. Yeah. Radio drops, that's yeah, your favorite. Because um, we get a lot of bloopers, and but don't none of you radio people get ideas to keep them, because that's not nice. Mm -hmm. oh. Because when you get like... Super big, we're gonna use that against you. Oh. No, I'm joking. It's okay, it's okay. They fun. Is that what they do though? That's fun. No. Nah, it's all fun. But you'll get tired oh, after a while. After doing years and years of radio drops, you're gonna be like, oh. Oh, so nah. <laughs> How did you girls feel when you were asked to be part of the uh, Scream tour? It was just mm -hmm. like a really big honor. Like we were super excited because we knew like everything that came with it. Like we knew that we were gonna be like the only girls and the first girl group to ever be on Scream Tour, and we were excited to meet everybody and see everybody. We were just really honored. So. Yeah. Okay. So y'all were on with what Mindless Behavior and Diggy and mm -hmm. a couple of other people. Um, have they talked to you about being in the industry? I mean, clearly, you know, you have your parents in the industry, but just your peers. Um, have they talked to you about? certain things to look out for as you yeah. go through the Yeah, especially Diggy. He's yeah, he very he's very good at that, like mm -hmm. with the speeches and all. He was just giving us advice and letting us know that don't let nobody get to you because at the end of the day, they're just going to be the winner in it all. And, like, he gives great advice. He's yeah. such a big brother. And then yeah. when we watch our bros, mom's behavior, like on stage, they perform so hard. So he's just like, once we watched him, it was like, oh, yeah, we got to go harder sometimes and stuff like that. It was just great. And they let us know about like different types of like mics and stuff. Like mm -hmm. we were used to like handheld mics, but they have like headsets and they have in ears. So they were like explaining to us what an in ear was and like what a headset does. Well, we know what a headset does. <laughs> <laughs> what an in ear does because we didn't know what an in ear was. So it's just they're really great. Yeah. Cool. So y'all were talking about the hair earlier. How did the sense of style come about? Well, the hair color, we all kind of picked out our own mm -hmm. colors of hair. Well, mm -hmm. no, my mom actually helped yeah. us with that. I've always wanted blue, so when we got in the group, I was like, can I have blue hair? She was like, cool. And then she kind of gave us all what beauty's actually her favorite color is pink, mm -hmm. and baby doll's favorite color is blue, so it's kind of weird that I have blue hair, but purple looks good on her. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you. Blue. Uh, no, good no problem. No problem. <laughs> really good. Okay, but yeah, and then when it comes awesome. to like clothes and stuff, we mm. get to, we have a big like a say so of what we want to wear and how we want to be styled, but usually we have like like our role manager will put our stuff together mm -hmm. or when photo shoots come around we get stylists but they ask us how we would like to dress before they pick out the stuff. Yeah, I love to think about switching it up. Like, yeah, I'm going to switch. Yeah, 
know, right nah. We just stick into the road lanes, blue, purple, pink. That's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we saw Ti, um, you oh. know, getting all into the clothes and mm -hmm. don't wear this, don't wear that. Yeah. How's that been lately? Like, has he kind of backed off? You guys kind of like doing your thing now? Kind of, I mean, he's, he's kind of backed off of me. <laughs> yeah, like he's kind of more lenient. Yeah, now. I'm wearing wedges today, so. You know. Is your dad very protective? He is sometimes, but he knows what's best, so we're all right with it. Yeah. We're all right. So <laughs> She's all right, all right with it. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you girls manage to um, keep up with your schoolwork while being on the road? Every second, like we're not in a radio station or on just on the bus, we we're doing school at late at night or early mm -hmm. in the mornings. We log into school online mm -hmm. and we can like call our teachers or email them if any questions need to be asked. And we also help each other throughout it. And our road manager, parents, and anybody on the bus with us will like check in with us and say, are you doing your school or just check in? But um, other than that, like every second school, so school is very important to us. We are, we still do school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want y'all to tell them about the crushes, cause clearly we yeah. gonna fight about yeah. one of our crushes. Oh, I don't wanna fight. Mm. <laughs> she a lover. She not a fighter, sonny. <laughs> I love her. Mm. Yeah. Boy crushes. Boy crushes. Mm -hmm. Well, ours together is Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. I love like Johnny Depp, Shia LaBeouf. The list really goes on, but I always stop there. So, oh uh, yeah, as she said, Chris Brown and Channing Tatum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, girls going crazy over that one. Mm -hmm. I like um, Tyga and Derrick Girls and Carmelo Anthony. I'm sorry, Lala, because he just like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ladies get starstruck when you meet these people? Oh, um, I got starstruck when I met Drake. I was really? like, yeah, I asked him for a hug. It, it was around the time when he had hurt his leg real bad mm -hmm. on a VT, when he was on a BT Awards, and I saw him, I was like, can I have a hug? And he was like, yeah, and I felt like such a groupie, but that's okay, because mm -hmm. he was nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still working up meeting people, but um, we might get a little, but we don't go crazy. We're just mm -hmm. like honored and happy that we get this chance to like meet them and stuff. I still have a lot of people to meet that they've mm -hmm. met, so hopefully they get me in there. Yeah. We usually just like... When we see somebody, we'll all really just kind of tell each other, like, oh, mm -hmm. there goes that person, and one of us will go Andre crazier. 3, oh, no, we yeah. Star Trek, we saw, when we saw Robin Thicke, we didn't meet him, we just saw him. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah, we was. I was about yeah. to cry. Yeah. Lady and, Gaga, yeah. too. That's what I was saying, like, when we saw, that's what I was about to get into. Oh, when we saw right. Lady Gaga, we were all what like. What happened with her tweeting, tweeting you guys or tweeting about you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She tweeted about our video, and she said she loved it, so How we. Crazy and she shot it. Yeah, and we got on the phone with her. Also, Vince Herbert had called us, and he had us on through it with her, and she was like, Keep going, keep working hard. We love, she loves us mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, it's so nice and honor because we're little monsters ourselves. So. Yeah. so, like, you know, you guys being now in the industry, what are some of your advice for younger girls who want to be like you? To not let anybody try to push your dreams down mm -hmm. and to keep going and work hard at it. And to stay grounded, keep God first, and then your family also because they're going to be with you to the end and keep school up because we still do school and it takes a lot of hard work. And practice because there's always somebody out there trying to be better than you. So keep on practicing. Also have fun. Don't forget to have fun. Love life. You only have one. YOLO. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Do you feel pressured? Like, do you now, because now you guys are out in the spotlight, do you feel pressure? Like, you have to make sure you stay a certain way because everyone's watching you now. I mean, Especially like, young girls. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes we feel pressure, but then, too, we are also teenagers and we're also still kids. We just happen to be kids who are in the spotlight. So I feel like we're going to make mistakes and we're going to learn from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like our fans will, will be able to learn from our mistakes as well and know, like, not to make the same mistakes when we make them. So sometimes we're a little pressured, they'll grow but with not you. like that. Yeah. yeah. They'll grow with you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now, do you ever wish like there was a time where, you know, there wasn't fans or there wasn't cameras around and that, you know, you could just kind of be normal? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm, not nope. really. No, <laughs> nope. I feel like we, yeah, we've been waiting for this like our whole life. Well, uh, I mean, you kind of, but our whole life is like to have our names out and like for people to know us and be able to do what you love and be in the studio and do songs and perform on stages and meet fans. I mean, it's just the life you've always wanted, so why not? Don't complain, right. you know. Don't complain yeah. Very nice. Now, when y'all are in the studio, who was like the creative one? Y'all really picky about what we'll say, what the beat sounds like. All of us have a really good ear, mm -hmm. so we like listen to more than just the words, but just like to the beats and to the melodies and stuff like that, the harmonies and whatnot. Um, but we're all really, we're all really creative. Like we create with each other. We mm -hmm. always consult with each other. Like 
okay, we'll listen to this verse I wrote. Do you like this? And we'll all give each other, yeah. like, feedback on if we like it or if we don't. We also have fun in the studio. Mm -hmm. When one's in the booth, we're all in the booth, yeah. just sitting there either on the floor or wherever we are, just, like, supporting each other. Who would you all like to work with in the near future? Um, Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. Timbaland. Mm -hmm. Neo, we would like to for him to write a song mm. for us. Mm -hmm. Rihanna, I love you, Rihanna. <laughs> yes. um, Me too. We 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 love you, oh, Rihanna. The dream. <laughs> yes. Yes. He writes amazing. Yes. Yeah, he does. Chris Brown, Beyonce, hopefully. Did you say that? I'm sorry. Oh no no no. no. Okay, and just. Else, you know. Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness. Robin Good one. Oh, Robin Thicke. Robin, 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 Robin Thicke. Thicke. Oh yeah. We just got a Taylor Swift. You know, Rick mix her up. Mix it up. <laughs> Let's mix Ross. it up. Rick Ross. Huh. You I, need some us on your track. I love him. Uh, Wait, can you rap? No. No. <laughs> what to say? Well, that could be your job, Sonny. Since you're the new member, you know what I'm saying? Hold. Uh -oh. We gonna share the position. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> How does it go? Uh -oh. Go. Uh -oh. Huh, Sonny? Sonny, what's up? Sonny, you wanna sing with them? <laughs> I just, I just kidding. She might be your backup dancer. No, 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 no. You can rap. We can rap together. Nice, nice, nice. And they gonna go to TJ Maxx, get their shopping on. Um, if your fans wanna get in touch with you, social networking, you do four squares, Twitter, or Facebook, all that good stuff. Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's so, it's so many these days. I can't keep up. But um, if your fans do wanna get in touch with you, how can they do that? Uh, our group Twitter is at the Real OMG Girls with a Z, or our personal Twitter is at baby doll underscore OMG. Mine's at star underscore OMG. And mine is at beauty underscore OMG. And then Sunny will have one coming up at Sunny underscore OMG. Watch out. Woo! And you heard it here first. So PGC TV, Aladdin Prince of the Airways, Sunny in the City, and the beautiful OMG Girls right here on PGC TV. Woo!